Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm Simon and I'm here with Brett. Oh, and this is where it's waving. Finished? Yes. Right, and today we're going to be looking at these Zuru uh, mini brands. We've got two types, we've got the Gold Rush collection and then we've got the toy mini brands. So we're going to open these up and see what they're like and see if Brett actually likes them. Because we have opened the Asda's own uh, like type of mini brands things and we're going to see if he likes them better than these or if he likes these better than Asda. So go on then, choose one you want to open. Toys. There's a little bit there. There's actually two lots of plastic to open on that. You... Why do they make this so difficult? I don't know. It'd be nice if the camera was looking at you, wouldn't it? <laughs> I gave you scissors to pick at that. It's working. <laughs> I gave you an instrument to make that a lot easier and you made it harder for yourself. It's going to work. Hang on, wait, wait, wait. wait not to the... Now I've got the camera lady and Brett fighting over who's going to unpack it. It's gonna work. Hang on, wait, wait, I found a I might as well. I'll get this no. one prepared. No. Ugh. You cannot open either. Terrible. Come on. Who does I need? No, whoever Zoo are. Oh no, no, no. There's a second thing it's on there. It's still half open. Yeah, use the scissors. This is going to work. Look, there's an easy way of doing it. <laughs> it's working. Oh, the camera lady's took them. She's not even looking at the bit that's meant for it. There's a second piece on there, mind. Seriously. <laughs> that was very much worth the time. Right. We're nearly there. There you go. And there's all my hard work done. Now put it in the middle so that the camera can actually see it. And you've got to pull that bit out of the way. I push, push it. It's like a Terry's chocolate orange, this is. Is it? Yeah. You... No, that. Pull that off. And put it near the camera. That's the thing you forgot about for the last minute or two when you're trying to open it. Right, see, it goes into segments. Now you open up each segment. Now. Why well, you took it away from the camera? If I put it there. I'm going to open up this bit first. Can't teach you anything, can I? If I bring it towards me, hang on, if I break oh, it off. God. I just keep the four there. Right. It is open. What is it? Oh, I know it's what that is. a Crayola watercolour set. It's like a, a paint set. Very small and ditty, isn't it? The details are good, like you've got the barcode in it and the little paints and that. I know some people use these in um, toy photography and stuff like that. I'm putting in like dolls houses and pretending they've got mini shops and stuff. But what are you going to do with this stuff? Probably the same thing I did with the last stuff. Oh, stick it on your shelf. shelf. And put it on my actual shelf. You're going to just stick it on a shelf. Wait. Wait, what you got now? Pressure from Blazing Monster Machines. Seems a bit random. Oh, really? It's a toilet. Monster truck. Die cast. I bet it's plastic. And you got the pictures of the other ones that would have been in the uh, in the series when you were really collecting them. They're good. They're well made. I will admit that. So in a third pack. What have we got? Oh, you got um. Shelves. shelves. All right, just. All right, let's see if I can assemble it. And if it's any good, well, that proves where. Well, no, carry on opening the things. Oh, that looks like a Nerf gun. It's a Nerf gun. And also the the pair that tells you what you can get. How many are there? I don't know. Where's the gun? There. 
X shot. Micro fast fill. That looks cool. Yeah. I don't think the mould was perfect on this end to be truthful. But you don't yeah, look bad. He looks alright. Is this something you'd collect? These are very expensive though, these um, Suru toys, which is a... Uh... Yeah, I said I was going to make that. Yeah, well I did it. I don't have nothing to do because you won't let me open anything. And this person. What I'll do though is I won't put the I won't put the stickers on. I'll let you deal with that. All right. Thank. There's your shelves. It's got wheels on the shelves, and then you've got like some. Uh, I can't remember what these are called now. They go on the they go on the ends to have barcodes to say how much things are, and then of course you've got your little banner to go on the very top. Well, I'll let Brett do that. Well, who's this? Avatar, the last Endbender. Ang. I watched it, Avatar years and years ago and then never watched it ever again. Is that it? That was it. Alright, do you want to try and wrestle with the other packet? Oh, yeah, I forgot what I want. So, just put the out of these, there. what's the piece, piece you like the best? Hmm. I suppose Crayola. Crayola? The, the thing with the least detail in it. <laughs> Why is it your favourite? Was well, it that? Yeah. Or maybe the nerf gun itself. Yeah. Well, X shot. It's not really a nerf. It's like a nerf. Now, is he going to be able to open up the packaging? These are different. These ones. You so, nuisance. On these. Uh, if I put these packs to the side. On the toy ones, the rare stuff is like gold. Which... I know, so. And the rose gold is ultra rare. So golden rose gold. On this next one we're opening, gold is just normal. And then I think you've got to have something like rose gold to, to get a, a That's super rare or something. One. All day in that pile there. What was the point of doing that? Because now you can compare what the difference is. Well, I think that would be foods and that would be toys. Well, this one foods, I didn't read it. I think it is. Come on then. So, note to yourself don't get anything where Brett has to open a packet. You ain't even done the second part. There's a bit that's made for tearing in your... And where is it? It's on there. I can't see because you've got it right over the way. Here? Oh, God. That got it. All right. Can't teach these people anything, can you? All right, bring it to the actual camera then, please, because we're making a video, not an audio book. I have to take away the first part. Why are you splitting them off for? Just open it. Now you took it away again. It's yeah, it's a nightmare to have kill these when you haven't... It's a nightmare doing away. videos with you. Yeah. So you've got gold. It's Red Hot Frank's original. <laughs> Frank's Red Hot original. I think that must be an American thing because I've never seen that over here. Seriously? <sighs> and there's also... Almond Breeze. Still gold. Yeah, I think these are all American things. Blue Diamond Almond Smokehouse. Almonds. Quartz salt. This was cheese, isn't it? Port Salut. Same difference. <laughs> well, I don't think so. I wouldn't be trying to sprinkle that on me chips. <laughs> Do you want salu and vinegar? <laughs> no. Actually, they got this new thing then. Some people are into this chip spice. No idea what that is. No people go mad over it. So, okay. There's also. 
What? Lowry season salt. Yeah. So, where is the toys of things that you get anywhere in the world? Like X Shot, Blazing the Monster Machines is, is shown over here. Crayola is a big thing over here. Uh, some of these things, although we have like st similar stuff, the brands are more American, so they're not something that I can look at and go, oh, you know that, and recognize it. I'm not sure if there's. I think there's also that Bebo, not there? Like some things are universal, like Acrofresh Tough Paste and Mentos, um, Pez dispensers, and stuff like that. But a lot of these brands, now nah, these. The American things, oh Baby Bell we have, Laughing Cow we have. But some of these things I've never heard of ever. But recently we have started to get some American stuff in a shop near us, like they got Twinkies and, and uh, Hostess stuff. So we might give that a try one day. But anyway, what's your favorite, Brett? Hmm. Is it still the Crayola? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> All right. A man of simple taste. Which is just for one reason. What? Do you know how this is? Uh, not that. But I do know most of this stuff. I don't know what I like. I like the monster monster machine. I think. Cause I like cars. Right, anyway. Most detailed. So I think that's going to do it for this video. Let us know in the comments what was your favourite. Uh, the only thing about these are these are really quite expensive toys. Like uh, these can cost up to eight pound or so. So do you think they're worth eight pound each for what you get? Do you not? Let us know in the comments. Please like, comment, subscribe. If you subscribe, we'd be really thankful because it would really help us out. But for now, thank you very much for watching and I really hope we will see you next time. Bye bye. Bye. And he's waving. And guess what? <laughs> bye, Bert. <laughs> you don't need a nose. He wants <laughs> chocolate orange now. Good luck. I thought you wouldn't eat it. Why? He's stuffed. Ha, ha, ha.